Blue. Good, good morning, Chairwoman Stabenow, Ranking Member Roberts, and members of the committee. As the Madam Chairman indicated, my name is C.J. Blue, and I do operate a uh, farm and ranch in South Central Kansas, and I'm Chairman on the Board at MKC or Mound Ridge Co-op, or, or Mid-Kansas Co-op at Mound Ridge, and I currently serve as Chairman. MKC is a full-service farm cooperative offering a full line of supplies and services for both farm and urban customers in 11 counties throughout Central Kansas. Our current membership is more than 4,800 members. MK MKC's Grain Division is operated by Team Marketing Alliance, or TMA, and whole, whole, an LLC wholly owned by four Central Kansas cooperatives operating 48 country elevators that total 38 million bushels of elevator space. I also serve on the Board of Directors of CHS Inc., the nation's leading cooperative. CHS is an energy, grains, and foods company owned by approximately 55,000 individual farmers and ranchers and about 1,000 local cooperatives. Thank you for the opportunity today to provide not only my personal perspective, but also the perspective of MKC on the MF global bankruptcy and the effect it has had on agribusiness and production agriculture. I consider myself fortunate because unlike other fellow farmers and ranchers, I don't personally have assets tied up in the MF global bankruptcy. However, I am impacted as an, as an individual farmer because I rely upon my local cooperative to manage my risk by forward pricing my grain. This bankruptcy has sent a shockwave throughout the industry. We have long believed that risk to segregated customer funds held by members of the clearinghouse was non-existent. We now realize that wasn't true. The attorney for the trustee in the bankruptcy case just last week during the House Ag Committee also confirmed this in his reference that 100 percent of these funds need to be returned promptly as permitted by governing regulations. Immediately following MF Global's bankruptcy filing, MKC and its respective grain marketing arm, Team Marketing Alliance, struggled with lack of access to futures positions and had no access to funds in our accounts. Additionally, our accounts were transferred to a new futures commission merchant, and we have spent countless hours trying to understand how and why various adjustments to account balances took place. My cooperative continues to deal with the aftermath of this situation. At the time of the MF Global bankruptcy filing, my co-op had a significant amount of assets and segregated accounts tied up with MF Global. While we now have access to positions in our hedge accounts, only 36 percent of the initial margin funds needed for the transferred positions have been transferred to the new accounts. We applaud the SIPA trustee's proposal for an additional distribution of funds and property that would bring the value of our distributions to about two-thirds of the original account values. However, for MKC, there is still a significant amount, or about 64 percent, of the margin funds and excess cash not yet received. This needs to be priority number one for the trustee and bankruptcy court. Segregated funds should not be a part of the bankruptcy. I am here today to ask the committee, regulators, exchanges, and trustee to make the return of customer funds and property a top priority. Customer funds were to be segregated and not used for other purposes. The confidence in the system has been compromised, and it is imperative that we restore the integrity of the system. The ability for thousands of businesses like MKC and CHS to hedge risk on an exchange offers producers a wide range of cash forward contracts to help optimize farm income. MKC's business model has been one that helps farmers manage their risks. <clears throat> this includes grain marketing, and hedging and forward contracting is an integral part of that. The key to providing any type of hedging and forward contracting is the ability to finance it, and we're fortunate to have a strong relationship with our lender. Although we have that strong relationship, the MF Global bankruptcy has impacted our ability to borrow funds. It has impacted our borrowing base since the missing funds cannot be used as collateral. Looking ahead, it will be very important to reestablish confidence in the futures markets and the safety of segregated customer, customer funds and property. As part of the process, we must ensure the sanctity of customer segregated funds. This should include the treatment <coughs> of missing funds in the bankruptcy, and those funds should have exclusive rights above the bankruptcy. This process must be priority and expedited to make all segregated account holders whole. In conclusion, I would ask that this situation be resolved as quickly as possible and that MKC's assets, <coughs> assets and those of other segregated account holders affected by MF Global's bankruptcy be returned immediately. I would also ask that you ensure the situation never happens again. <coughs> Thank you again for the opportunity to share my views today. This concludes my prepared remarks, and I'd be happy to respond to any questions. Thank you very much, and appreciate again all of you being here. We are deeply concerned about uh, the situation you find yourself in. 
and through no fault of your own. And uh, let me first start by saying, uh, it, by asking each of you, uh, if you 